Hi, I'm Carrie with North Beach Worm Ranch, and I'm here today to show you how to make a worm tower. It's really easy. You get a piece of PVC pipe, and we just found this one. Um, you can get it from a hardware store or a lot of different places. It's about the size of my hand in diameter. You want to show this? So about that size. Um, works pretty well. You could go a little smaller, a little larger. And then we drilled holes on the top third of the pipe, of the uh, PVC pipe. And then we drilled holes here about every inch or two inches. Again, there's no science to this yet. Uh, we're kind of experimenting, but we think this is uh, about, about right. And this is going to allow the worms to go in and out of your garden, and you're going to put the food in here. Okay, when you drill the holes, you want to make sure that um, you do it so that there's not a lot of burrs around the edges because I, we think that that would make the worms, um, you know, could cut the worms and make them uncomfortable. And then if you wanted to, you could also sand it with a, with a sander if you wanted to make sure it was nice and smooth. Okay, let's go put it in. So we dig a hole in the garden to put it in the ground now. This is our worm tower. We've already drilled the holes in the bottom third. I'm just going to lift it. I've already dug my hole about as deep as the holes go. Maybe just uh, about five inches. Uh, the hole is about five inches deeper than where the holes end. That way in other animals and varmints or, or insects might not get in into the holes because those are for the worms. Now I'm ready to load it. So there's already dirt in the bottom obviously. I'm going to put in some shredded paper from our home office as bedding. Worms love bedding. And so it's a mixture of paper and thin cardboard. That's the bottom. Now I'm going to put in some basic kitchen scraps. Um, coffee grounds, used coffee grounds, banana peel, avocado peels, things like that. The worms do not like citric, citrus and they don't like mango peels. I learned that recently. Mango peels are also kind of acidic. Now I'm going to add some more bedding. Kind of like lasagna layering like lasagna and finally my worms now these are red wigglers and I happen to uh, grow these I got these from my other uh, worm bins my more traditional worm bins which uh, we'll create another video about and there's quite a few in here as you can see and they are in the bedding uh, from the other worm bins so that's where they live they love cardboard and paper mixed with a little bit of vegetable scraps so I'm going to go ahead and dump them in there. Bye bye worms. And then I will just add a little sprinkle of dirt. About that much dirt. And now I will get a flower top, a flower pot or a plate or something like that to put on the top of my worm bin. This is Carrie with North Beach Worm Ranch. I just wanted to show you our finished product of our worm tower. We've already installed it. We've added all of our bedding and our vegetable scraps. We've got a top to put over the top. It doesn't have any holes in it and that way it will keep out any other kind of unwanted critter that might want to get in there and get to all that compost. I just wanted to talk for a minute about why this is a great um, way to raise worms and a great way to have your garden uh, be fertilized automatically. Basically the worms get inside there because you put them in there and they live there but instead of just staying in one little place, they go ahead and eat the food and the bedding that you're putting in there, but then they move in and out, in and out of these holes, and they go into your garden, and they're bringing the nutrients that their fertilizer normally uses, normally cre uh, produces with them, and so it's automatically fertilizing your garden. I chose this spot in my garden. Um, I plan to plant lettuce and a few other uh, crops around it, um, I chose it because it's semi-shaded and it's not too hot. Worms do not like heat. And it gets hot down here in South Texas. We're in Corpus Christi. So I have it in partial shade underneath a papaya tree. And I'm hoping that this is going to be a great spot. So thank you and good luck.